Hey guys, it's Nahar Geva here, and in today's video, I'm going to show with you a comprehensive guide on how to find eBay competitors. Now, there are four effective methods to find competitors, and in this video, I'm going to cover method number one. If this video reach 100 likes, I'm going to share with you link to method number two in the description below. So go ahead, smash the like button, and let's get started with this video. This method break into two steps. Step number one, use eBay search. Search for any keyword related to your interest, such as the niche you focus on or the supplier's product title you use. You want to use eBay search, find products that related to your interests, and then go ahead and move to step number two, copy the seller name into Zeek. Copy and paste the seller's name into the Zeek competitor research tool. As simple as that. Let's dive into my screen right now and see this demonstration live. So here we are inside eBay getting started with our first method. I'm going to show you now how I use eBay search engine to search for interesting keywords, a specific niche, or even a supplier title. So first things first, let's demonstrate how we search keywords on eBay and we get relevant results. You want to make sure that you use the right filters here, because if you're an international seller and you're located outside of the United States, uh, or even if you are uh, focusing on only new items or buy now items, you need to set it up so you get the right results. So I will go here to the advanced, I'll click on advanced, and then I will put the keyword I want to search. Now, of course, it depends on what you're looking for. You can come here and just search randomly for keywords, or you can think about what is the main niche you're focusing on. And for this example, I will write water, water slide. Then I'll make sure to, to select all the relevant filters for me. Number one, I'm going, I want to look for buy now items because I'm not interested in results of auctions or classified ads. Second thing, I want, I'm going for a condition new because again, I'm not selling secondhand products. So um, I'm uh, interested only in new uh, listings. In new listings, I mean not just, not listing that just got listed, but a uh, new condition. Then scrolling down, I will change the item location, which is maybe the most important here to US only. Now, of course, if you're focusing on the UK market, you should put UK. Just to clarify one thing, if you are a UK seller, if you are living in the UK or living in the US, all those settings, or at least mainly the item location will be pre-selected, okay? But if you are not and you're international sellers, you want to make sure these things happen. Even though if you're a local seller, I will still make sure to fill the buying format and the condition just so you get relevant results. Now I will hit the search button. And then uh, there is one more thing that you want to check if you're an international seller. It's just in the shipping location. Make sure you change it to the country you are looking at, you are selling it. So if it's United States and you put a zip code and you click go. Now, when we got, when we got relevant results, you need to go ahead and open any seller here. Let's start with the first product. I'll just click here and copy the seller name. So if in this case, I'm interested in this seller, this seller have 14,933 feedbacks is their feedback rate is 98.2 positive, And I want to see what these sellers are doing. So now I will go on Zeek Analytics. This is Zeek Analytics. I will go to the competitor research tool, as you can see here. And I will paste the seller name into the search bar. And I will hit the search button. You can filter between 30 days sales data to 7 days sales data. I'll stick to 30 days. Now, clicking the search button, instantly we get the results. We can see that this seller sold $155,000 in the last 30 days, which is a great revenue for a seller with only 342 active listings in their stores. We can see their average selling price, $222, their sold items, sell to rate, feedback score, and their account country. This, this is in a Hong Kong account, okay? And of course, we can scroll down and see all the products. This part, if you will stay with me all the way till the end, I'm going to cover how to analyze sellers and learn their selling strategies, analyze their performance, and of course, also find their best sellers and analyze them. But right now we focus on how to find competitors and we're only in the first method. So a lot of value ahead of us, bear with me till the next step. Now, this was an example on how to find competitors using the regular search engine 
of eBay. I gave you some tips on how to use the advanced uh, filters. Again, if you want to get very accurate results that's relevant for you, for where you are selling it, for your location, for your target marketplace, you want to hit these advanced settings and make sure the filters are right. The second thing is to use the search engine of, of eBay to find um, uh, sellers or competitors who use the same supplier like us. You can go into competitor site, competitor websites or supplier websites and copy any random titles and put it in the search bar. Let me show you how I do it. So for this example, I will use Amazon.com. Inside Amazon.com, I'll change the delivery to United States. In this case, again, if you're going to UK, it's going to be UK. And we're zero here. Uh, or any other country you're focusing. Now, let's take Amazon as example. This can work on any supplier. For drop shipping suppliers such as Amazon, Walmart, or AliExpress, for Alibaba, and for any other suppliers, even if it's a wholesale supplier, if you get a list of products with titles and new PCs, you can go ahead on eBay and search for them, okay? Now, I'll go here randomly uh, to into any category. So let's go here for the baby category. I'll pick random products. So I'll go here for Prime only. And let's take this product as the example. I open these products here and I will just copy the title. So I can copy the beginning of the title because on Amazon you have very long titles. It's enough. And then I can go ahead on eBay and I can paste it here and I can search the button. Now I see all the people that selling relevant products and then I will look for the same image, right? to make sure these guys are also sourcing this product for Amazon. And if I can find the same image, well done, I found it. Now, of course, again, I will need to go here and make sure I'm the right with the right settings. Uh, however, I'm not gonna do it now. For this example, I'm just gonna take this seller, okay? So I'm gonna copy here. I'm gonna copy this seller name and I'm going to back to Zeek. I'm gonna paste it into the search bar again and I hit the search button. And again, I found a seller with 4,799 active listings, $2,000, 188 and, uh, revenue in the last 30 days, and so on so far. So these were two ways to use um, the first method to find eBay competitors, which start in eBay and ends in Zik. That's it, guys. I'm going to move now to the second part, to method number two, which involves some more sophisticated tools. If you guys find this video valuable, please smash the like button, subscribe to the channel. And remember, if this video reach 100 likes, I'm going to share with you link to method number two in the description below. So go ahead, smash the like button. See you in the next part.